Welcome to Excel name trick number one. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook. Excel name series one to twelve. Hey, we got twelve tricks about names. What is a name anyway? Hey, let's click in cell G9. G9. Oh, look, there's the name box. If you hover your cursor over the name box, the screen tip even tells you that's a name box. The name of this cell, G9. That's the intersection of column G and row 9. Now I'm going to highlight broop, the range G10 to G13. Now that doesn't show me up in the name box G10 to G13, but that's the name of that range. Let's do a little test here equals sum open parentheses and then I'm going to highlight that formula if I close parentheses the name of that range is G10 to G13 now I want to show you how to actually name some cells not I don't want this range to be G10 to G13 I want it to be sales hey I'm going to hit delete and first I'm going to name this cell right here rate and then I'm going to name these this range of cells sales now click in the cell and then click in the name box and type R A T E enter you got to hit enter highlight click in the box type your name enter it doesn't register if you don't hit enter now let's highlight this range right here remember highlight click in the name box type your name sales Enter. Now look at this. There's a drop down right there. I'm going to click this drop down and point to rate. Oh, look at that. Cell jumps right there. It's rate. This is verifying that I actually named the right cells. And then I'm going to point to sales, and there it is. Now, um, there's a couple ways to f see your names. One is just boop using the drop down. The other one is go to go to Define Names dialog box, which is in 2003 and earlier, or in 2007, it's called the Name Manager, the keyboard shortcut for Name Manager, or um, Define Names dialog box in earlier versions is Control F3, Control F3. Now this looks different than earlier versions. In earlier versions, you just you see the names, and then at the bottom there's the text box. Let's click on Rate. Um, and there it is. It tells you this name right here represents the sheet tab, NT name trick one, and then G9. If I click down here on sales, uh, this name represents NT1 sheet. Notice that explanation point is a um, tells us that that's the sheet name. And those little quotes are around names. Um, and especially around names when there's spaces. And then there it is, G10 to G13. I'm going to click Close here. And now I want to see how to use a name. Let's click right here. Equals SUM, open parentheses, S. And notice as soon as I start typing S, the function dialog box in 2007 with names also pops up. Now this doesn't pop up in earlier versions. So you just have to type S-A-L-E-S. <coughs> Notice immediately, is if you type in a valid name, you can see the name in blue and the range is highlighted. I'm going to control enter. Now I'm going to delete this and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for auto sum, alt equals, and then I'm going to hit control enter. And then I'm going to hit F2 and actually I'm going to highlight this range here and I'm going to now, it, because that's not right, if you notice, it's got the rate there. And now I'm very properly going to redirect this and highlight it. Whoa, look at that. If you highlight a range that has a name, it automatically puts it in. Now I want to come down here. I want to use a, um, I want to actually name this cell right here total. Total sales. Enter. Now I want to come down here and I want to do a formula based on total sales and rate equals. And now what if I forgot my name? Well, you can hit the F3 key. The F3 key is paste names. I'm going to double click total sales times and then I'm going to hit the F3 key and double click rate. Hey, look at that. I'm going to projected sales. What are they? Total sales times rate. Control enter. Uh, so it's great 
um, names are easy because then you don't have to highlight and there's two really excellent reasons to use names. One is then you don't make highlighting like you don't accidentally highlight just three of them when you use a name. The other thing is you can look at the formula. Hey, total sales times rate. Totally amazing. Now I want to show you um, uh, click in this cell right here and then I want to show you the last row in Excel 2000 and three and earlier or notice actually 2003 I forget when they jumped I think it was seven but in 2003 2000 and two 2000 versions they all had 65,000 rows notice it says dot XLS I'm gonna with my cursor there control down arrow oh 65,536 and then control right arrow IV that's the last cell that's about 16 millions now I'm gonna control home and now um, I want to point out that I've named this cell right here ROA2000. I've named this cell RRR until rate of return 1999. I've named this cell SEX1. This is return on assets 2000. Lots of people had these names. These names are no longer valid in 2007. So what I want to show you is I'm going to save as um, this .xls. I'm going to hit the F12. F12 is save as. And then I'm going to save this, um, change the extension to .xlx, that's the standard version in Excel 2007 without macros. I was going to save them with macros. That M means your macros are allowed. And then I'm going to click Save. Oh, look at that. It gives me an error. The name IRR1999 either conflicts with valid range or is invalid in Excel. It means, and it's polite, it's going to rename it for us underscore RRR. The reason why, and we're going to see in just a moment, is there's this new cell because there's 17 billion cells in uh, 2007. So there's an actual cell called RRR1999. I'm going to click OK. And then it reminds me again, hey, you have ROA2000 as a name. And it's asking, do you want to rename it? Click OK. And then this one, you've got to be kidding me. There's a sex one cell in the new 2007. Yes, there's a whole sex column. I'm going to click OK because it's going to rename it that. Now I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to um, open it. I'm going to open it. Because if you... Um, didn't close it and open it, there would still be 65,000. It's not until you save as an older workbook with a new extension and then open it that you're going to get all these new cells. Now, first, I want to put my cell somewhere in control down arrow. No way. A million. 48,576, let's see, that's uh, 10, I think that's equals uh, 2 caret to the 20, right? Yeah, and then control right arrow, XFD, and I think if I go equals 2 caret, which is exponent to the 14th, that's how many columns there are, 16,000. 384. Now I'm going to control home. Always good to know control home. And now look what they did when I click in this cell. There's the new name. When I click in this cell, there's the new name. When I click in this cell, there's the new name. Now what happens if I type SEX1 here? Oh, it jumps to the cell. There's a whole column for sex. What if I type in ROA, return on assets, uh, 2000? Oh, that's a cell. What if I turn type IRR? Um, internal rate of return 1999. No way, not only that, watch this, there's an IRS column. The great thing about the new IRS column is you just put your tax numbers there and it does your taxes for you. No, just kidding, just kidding. Yes, there's an IRS column. I'm going to control home. So that's a little introduction to names. Uh, stay tuned for 11 more unbelievable tricks with names. See you next name trick.